Hatsune Miku, she's a Japanese Vocaloid superstar and if you're not familiar with her, you need to look her up ASAP because you're seriously missing out. This video is going to show you how to look like her, but remember, you can always use this tutorial for other anime looks too. Start out with an electric blue eyeshadow. Here I'm using a cream based eyeshadow because it blends so easily. You want to apply this color on your entire lid because we're going for that hyper anime feel. With your trusty old white eyeliner, exaggerate the white of your eyes and extend it out like this. You're creating the illusion of bigger looking eyes, almost bulging them out. Also, don't forget to line your waterline. Take the electric blue again and outline the white eyeliner. If you're good at drawing anime and manga, then this will be a piece of cake. Take a turquoise color and focusing on your center lid, apply a generous amount around this area. I like using two eyeshadow colors rather than just one because it's going to create that beautiful artistic look. With a dark gray matte color, draw a crease line above your real crease. This will exaggerate the folds in your eyes, creating an illusion of deeper eye creases. Now, with your black liquid eyeliner, start from the inner corner of your eyes and work your way out by drawing a very thin line. It should gradually become thicker as you move out. Make sure the eyeliner is moving up instead of down. If your eyeliner is moving down, it'll look as if your eyes are drooping and you're going to look really sad. Unless you like that emo look, avoid drawing the eyeliner down. Here, I stack three lashes on top of each other to exaggerate the lashes and apply the fake lashes on as usual. Look at how big my eyes are starting to look. We're not even there yet. It's going to get crazier. Now for the fun part, using Japanese bottom lashes. In my opinion, Japan makes the best bottom lashes. They come in all shapes and sizes, but most importantly, they're so easy to use. I never have trouble using them. You need steady hands like a surgeon to do this. Now take the turquoise color again and use this color on your brows. You want your brows to match her turquoise hair color. I'm also going to add a bit of blue for color variation. So now it's time to finally throw on the wig. We'll add the pigtails later. Take the pinkest blush that you own and with your blush brush, smile and apply this color on the apples of your cheeks. This will give you that innocent doll-like look. We're almost there. Now take your pigtails and comb out your long Rapunzel hair. I'm also going to add the hair accessory. And now clip the pigtails on. Do the same on the other side. And of course, finish off with a pretty pink lip gloss. Also, if you want the full Miku effect, don't forget your blue contact lens. So now we're finished. Looking like Hatsune Miku was as easy as... Uh, who am I kidding? This took forever, but it was fun. Now, you can dress up as your favorite Vocaloid for costume events, anime expos, concerts, and grocery shopping. Good luck! So now, I'm going to drive out in my kawaii Toyota Corolla to catch my next concert. Hope to see you there!